Welcome back to Mark D. Maker. Today we're going to be looking at the wings, doing a little bit of work on the body. So let's get started. All right, here's the body of the owl. And you can see here is the center line for this way around the body and the center line for this way around the body and how the eye channel to set up the eye channel these are 45 degree lines out from these lines and this is how the eyes sit in a 45 degree angle in a channel here in the eyes so the eyes will be removed back almost all the way to the center line so this is all going to be removed at an angle back so the eyes sit at a 45 degree angle here and these furrows will be cut in to add the chest feathers to add depth and fullness I'll show you how to do that we, we will be using a carbide cutter to do that. This carbide cutter is a square end, as you can see. Make sure you push this shaft down. You don't want it hanging out too far with that much weight on the ends. And uh, at a speed of 30,000 RPM, uh, that thing could come right out of the chuck. So you want to make sure it's chucked up in there almost all the way down and take your time I'm holding the piece way back in case it decides to catch and take off on me here I'm feathering down the edge so I have really just kind of a on the lower edge a very rounded feather mound that will be there. We do this on both sides. A very gentle touch when you're not cutting. This thing will remove wood really quick. So here I have the Fordham tool, it's a shaft, uh, it's a, there's a motor hanging up above my head, a shaft, and it's a sanding drum spinning away, overhand grip with this is a very powerful tool. I'm holding it far back again as you can see in case it decides to take off on me. And this will remove a lot of wood very quickly. Uh, and and the the grit on this isn't very hard uh, isn't very coarse. It's pretty fine grit, as you can see. Puts a lot of dust in the air. So wear protect your lungs. Wear a mask. And as you can see, I'm bringing the the, the head back into shape. 45 degree angles on either side. leaving the eyebrow and under the eye. Um, most birds of prey have this heavy brow and that heavy brow gives it a tough guy look. Well this 
could be done with a knife as well. The whole bird could be done with a knife or it could be done with a rotary tool. Uh, I use both. Um, I like using the knife, but they're just saying some things that you can do better with the rotary tool. And here's the rough out of the shape. We're getting closer. So here we have the feather. It's all layered, laid out, layered, sanded. And what we need to do now is put the center lines of these feathers in, these shafts for these feathers. And the best way I know to do it is to do a two line system. So you put a line here, use that feather as a reference. So I would go here with a line and the tip of the feather looks just a little off center. So about here and a nice smooth arching line. Rarely is anything straight on a bird. So a, a nice smooth arching line And that's going to be our center shaft. And then what you want to do with your burning tool on very low is go to either side of this and come to a point here where they merge together. So you would, with a low heat, come to this side and then to that side. And that'll give you a slightly raised center shaft much like here you can see this shaft is slightly raised and then what I would do with the burning tool on is is lay it sideways and it kind of scorches the wood and, and uh, pushes it down, sinks it in a little bit. And that raises that shaft up. So it's a little bit on the proud side. So if you can, can get in there and do that on both sides, you may have to go, and, and you don't want to use too hot of a heat, then you may have to go in with a sander and if if you got uh, if it uh, left a charcoal residue, you want to get that charcoalness out of there uh, because it will interact with your paint and make it gross. Um, but you want, especially on that first feather, that shaft to be uh, proud and pronounced. So then for the rest of your feathers, you simply want to reference where it's coming from. It's coming from right about here. And where's it going? It's going about there. And a nice smooth arc. There you go. It's coming from about here. It's going about there. doing the 
this upside down. It help if I more right side up here. The more you do, the easier it gets. Just to look at it. Put your lines in. All right, so I have all my center lines in. And I would go to a nice medium burn. My burner is called the Detailer. It's set at about three and a half right now. It's 20 years old, so, uh, or more, so. Now that I think about it, it's probably 30 years old. Notice here how I'm bracing my pinky finger on the, on the wood here. It's always a good idea to brace your hands somehow when you're carving or even painting. It gives you control. Just burning in all the little center lines here. And you don't have to press hard. It almost just like melts into the wood. <clears throat> I'm going to try to go down either side of this and converge. I'm on the line now. Going down the opposite side here. Getting closer on the line. So we got a rather large shaft here. Easily to take it down a little bit. It's just lay right on it and down either side. I'll do a little sanding to clean that up. Now these lines coming off the center shaft, these pieces of uh, how the feather lie, it's a little hot. Turn it down just a little bit. Another trick you can do is right before you touch it, on your wood is to j gently blow the tip it cools it down pretty quickly you don't want to um, hold it like this because it really hurts when you burn yourself with this thing I'd rather be cut than burned now the really top of the line carvers that compete in one inch span can fit a tremendous amount of these lines. They pride themselves on it. Over a hundred per inch. helps if you're very relaxed when you're doing this. Usually I have music on. Nice easygoing music, but I don't need any copyright infringement problems, so that's 
why I don't put music in. I've heard too many nightmares. All right, so that would be one feather here. You can feel the texture of it. You can see it. The burn marks will all go away when we start painting. We'll be using a gouache, and I'll, we'll, when we get to that part, I'll show you how to do it. So the long task of burning in all these little quills and feathers begins. So I smoothed this out with some sandpaper just to get a better idea of the furrows. And what we'll do is just take the edge off of right here. We already smoothed this out and we smoothed this out. So we're going to smooth the edge here and here at with just some sandpaper so we have some nice rolling nice rolling landscape so here we have the sand the uh, edges sanded you can see how they're nice rolling hills all ready for uh, to draw in the feathers. All right, so here we are so far. Burned all this in. We're gonna start on this feather. I'll draw these in and take it back to the Dremel. And what I can do is a little trick that's helpful. <clears throat> As I can see, there's a little ramp here where I was sanding. I can just press this down and slightly undercut these feathers. And really add a lot of depth. When I go to pull out this barb, I just press it in a little bit. And it'll sink it down. <clears throat> kind of got an odd position here, so it can't get really close up. A light touch helps. You get close. Twisting the pen as you pull it out. So you can have a gentle arch. You can see here, I pushed in with that heat and created a feather split. A 
I'll put some more in later because they actually have a lot of <clears throat> feather splits. So when I'm working on a detail for a long time, like burning in feathers or something like that, I will, I will take a break from that and go work on the body of the bird. So I'll switch back and forth when my hand gets tired, when my eyes get tired from the detail, I'll work on something that's a, a, a bigger part of the bird, something more general. Uh, but it should be enjoyable. All right, so I've drawn in some lines here to indicate these feathers on this and the direction line. So you can see this the center line of these feathers, how these go this way. These come down like those do. These sweep back. So just a few little indication lines. And we'll go with a little diamond ball and cut all these in and burn them. So we have both wings completely burned in. Join me next time and we'll do a lot more work on the body. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.